Hello, we're in the Ferrier Shop on the Cloverdale campus of KPU. I'm Gerard, the instructor of the Ferrier program, and I'm going to go over the forging tools that a student needs to have to begin the program. So we'll start out with a ruler, steel or brass, some soapstone, a center punch, and a pair of dividers will be your marking and measuring tools. Then you need a forging hammer. About a pound and three quarters will work for most people. If you're bigger, you might need a two pound hammer. If you're smaller, maybe a pound and a half. But a pound and three quarters works for most. You will need two pairs of tongs to begin with. A pair of three eighths and a pair of quarter or five uh, and five sixteenths. You can expect that you're going to add to those. You will need a pair of half inch and uh, then you will need either the quarter or five sixteenths, whichever you didn't get, and you could have even more. But you will need to add to your tongs as you work through the program. You're going to need two four punches. Uh, uh, metal or welded handles are better than the wooden handles to begin with. They're going to be a little bit cheaper, which will help. Uh, a Bruce Haig and a Roy Bloom is what I'd like you to get. And then you need two Pritchells to go along with your four punches, a Bruce Haig and a Roy Bloom. Uh, you will expect to um, increase the number of four punches you have and certainly increase the number of Pritchells. So you may be able to make your own four punches in the program and you might be able to make your own Pritchells but more than likely you'll be buying them. We need a big wire brush, so a butcher's block we call that. We'll need a clipping hammer you might be able to modify a ball pin hammer to make your clipping hammer later in the program. You don't need to buy this right away, but you will need it by the time you're halfway through the program. You need a, a heel cutter, a hot cut to cut the heels on bar stock. You need a bottle of welding flux. And you need a pair of vice grips to carry hot shoes back and forth from the anvil to the horse. And then we need a toolbox to keep everything in. Ideally steel, uh, doesn't have to be overly big, just as big as the longest tool. If you buy a plastic box, expect that it's going to melt or burn. And of course, cardboard box won't work at all. So this covers the base set. You can expect that while you're in the program, you will have to add to this. And there are other tools that you could have at the beginning that you know, it's, aren't absolutely necessary, but you need to have these to begin the program. Thanks for watching.